Hey everybody, today's video will be a sort of a continuation of my bear of 1866, but in reality it's more about Crossman. I noticed this while doing shooting the Barra 1866. I used Crossman 7.9 hollow point. At Walmart, I noticed that there was a little difference in the packaging and I thought, well, maybe these are a little better grade. Let's take a look at the difference between the two. They were exactly the same barcode in Walmart and they cost exactly the same. It's one replaces the other. This is the old. This one is 7.9 grains. The can's different. Notice they're going with hollow point, not so much Premier. This is 7.6 grains and they're going stronger with Premier. Let's go to the back. The old one is made in the USA, most likely in New York. The new one is made in Spain, which is where Gamo is based. And if you look at your daisy pellets, they're made in Spain. Gamo pellets are made in Spain. Winchester pellets are made in Spain. All those are already part of the Gamo Daisy Corporation. So now apparently the Crossman pellets are also going to be made, I'm guessing, at the same location. Maybe some commenters can clarify that. So let's go ahead and open it up and look at the actual pellets. Okay, the pellet on the left is the old Crossman hollow point and this is the new one. The new one has more indentation whereas the old one there's like a little bump in the middle of it. Seems like the old one has a little more of a mushroom shaped head. The skirt flares out a little more, so it means it's a little narrower towards the head. Looks like the, the new one has more hollowed out areas, so that's the reason why it's going to be lighter. Since I already have a good reading with this Barra 1866, out of the five pellets I tested, it had standard deviations of in the twos for two pellets to include the Crossman hollow point and was below two for one, the Norman. So that's very consistent readings. So we're going to go ahead and just use this since I already did the one sample size with the Crossman made in the USA 7.9. Okay, I'll do the numbers. Let's take a look at the new numbers comparing the old Crossman hollow points to the new. The new Crossman's at 7.6 grains, average 657 feet per second. Kinetic energy, because the slider is basically the same. The old one is 7.2 foot pounds, the new one is 7.3. The standard deviation for the old one was better at 2.3. This one is at 2.6, but still in the twos. So again, this Barra is pretty consistent. The last test is 20 yards. It's zeroed for a different pellet than Norma. So I'm not changing that zero because it's really on target, but it's close enough. The crosshairs will line up just fine there. I'll shoot a sample size of 10 with the old one, and then we'll shoot the same with the Crossman hollow point, 7.6 grains. First up is the old Crossman hollow point, the 7.9. Here is a Crossman new hollow point, 7.6 grains. Well, 
Well, let's take a look here. I put a quarter over it. This was shot number five. That was only really flyer. This is not a shot here. This is a, just a mark. If you put the chicken on there, pretty close to about what I shot in the video anyway with I, where I got 8 out of 10. Compare that with the new one. It was a little more sporadic. Uh, when it got going, it was going. And there was a flyer there, flyer there, flyer there, and a flyer there. I guess that's the difference in standard deviation. If you went with the chicken, well, because of the shape of it, it still would have been pretty much 8 out of 10. So, for all practical purposes, it's about the same. The old one's a little tighter. One part of me was hoping that the old Crossmans would win because they were made in the USA. And the other part of me was hoping that the new Crossman would win because it would be a better pellet that's now available. And my conclusion is, is you have more of a chance of having a flyer from breathing mistakes than you do with the uh, problems with this pellet. They are different pellets. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please press the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. And we'll see you on the next video.